So let's talk about Motion Array. Now, if you're someone who's already been creating music for stock libraries, you know about Motion Array, mainly because all the people like me or your contemporaries have said, this is the library where I'm making the most money. But you also need to know about this library, even if you are a recording artist, a working producer, or someone just focused on sync licensing. Why? Because Motion Array can bring you consistent monthly income as another library, and it's non-exclusive. Let's get into it. Future video, Eric coming to you saying, wait till the end of this video because I've got some stuff that comes directly from Motion Array that answers some of my questions. Okay, back to old past Eric. Now, since I started experimenting with stock music, it wasn't until I was accepted into Motion Array that stock music really became more than just a few bucks here and there, but a significant way to make music income every single month. Now, before we get into it too much, you need to know that Motion Array is a subscription library. Now, a lot of people have really doubts about, oh, I'm not gonna make as much money in subscription library. Well, that's not the way it is with this. Yes, people only pay a monthly or a yearly fee, but you make money from day one when you are accepted into Motion Array, and then you get paid for every song that you have in there as people listen to it, as people put it into their productions, and you are making daily income with Motion Array. Later on, I'll talk about the different kinds of things Motion Array does, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on music. And last month, music was the best seller on Motion Array with over $211,000 of income. That's a big pie to divvy up among composers. I've started to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching lately to help people make music income. And one of my clients, who is a recording artist, has put six of her songs on Motion Array and is currently making $25 a day. Now that may not sound like a lot, but do the math. $25 times 30 days, that's $7.50 a month, folks. And that's not even the most I've personally heard of. My friend and podcast partner, Stephen Bedall, made over $1,000 on Motion Array last month. And by the way, Steve co-hosts the new Make Music Income podcast. So if you like podcasts, make sure you go over to that podcast page in the description below or just search for the Make Music Income podcast on Spotify or on Apple Podcasts. So as you can see, Motion Array is someplace that you need to have your music. It continues to be a great monthly income source for me and accounts for about three fourths of the money I make from stock music licensing. Okay, so let's talk about how you get your music into Motion Array. Just a word of caution here, this is not a stock music library that takes everything. Motion Array was bought by Artlist in the last year, so they have a pretty high bar of quality. I recommend really showing the breadth of your compositional catalog here. Don't just upload five similar songs, but really show some of your different genres. I really recommend that you show your most highly produced work in this audition. This is no time to send quickie demos or something you whipped up yesterday that you kind of like. Show off your best songs and show off your best produced work. Both for myself and the client I was just talking about that I helped in my coaching. Both of us used songs that we had produced in Nashville and also solo work that we had produced on piano. The songs were quality, the production was quality, and that certainly helps get into a quality library like Motion Array. Now, Motion Array is a quality curator, which means they are very careful with what they put in their catalog. Some of your music that you have on other libraries may get rejected by Motion Array. So you need to prepare for that rejection, not just because the song wasn't quality or it wasn't a good song, but that it wasn't right for the Motion Array catalog. If you're wondering what is right for the Motion Array catalog or what the catalog sounds like, you can go to the Motion Array audio site and go through the different genres and see the different kinds of things that do well there. Pay special attention to the staff picks section because this is where people go when they first hit search and you go to the audio page, the staff picks comes up first. One difference I see with Motion Array is that they actually seem to like vocal music. So for all you artists out there, don't be afraid to put your original artist music up there 
They love that kind of stuff. Just make sure you also put a corresponding instrumental and other possible versions of the song up with that vocal version. So let's talk about the submission process itself. Once you are in the library, how do you put songs up and what's the process like? Motion Array has some very careful naming procedures. So you'll need to prepare an extra set of files that are differently named than some of your other files for that same song if you're using it in other libraries. You're probably used to this with other libraries that require you to rename songs for whatever reason. They do prefer you to use the actual song name, but I'm talking about the titling of the actual files that you will upload to them. They require their files to be laid out a certain way, and you can see that here. So this will be part of what you have to do to put your music up on Motion Array. Like anything, once you get the method down, it's not too difficult, but like many libraries, it can be time consuming. While we're on the time consuming part, you might feel like when you are putting music up to libraries, whether they're exclusive libraries, non-exclusive libraries, it doesn't matter, that it's so time consuming and that is it worth your time to be putting this music up on these sites? Well, listen, the answer with Motion Array is yes. This is one of the libraries that it pays to do the work and pays to put up quality and pays to be very careful because it pays. You can't say that about a lot of stock music libraries or even exclusive libraries that you put music up to and you don't know if you're going to make anything or non-exclusive libraries that are just, there's thousands of songs in them, hundreds of thousands of songs in them, and your music just does not get found or seen or heard and you don't make any money and you're like, why do I spend all this time uploading if I'm not going to make anything back. But Motion Array is one you want to spend time on because this is the number one library for me as far as monthly income and for most people I talk to who make a significant amount of income from stock music. Okay, so let's talk about the types of music that work. Well, I can only talk for me. The types of music I have personally had success with on Motion Array are piano music, jazz, pop, songs with lyrics, indie folk pop, hymns and religious, classical and orchestral, and corporate. So you can see that's a lot of different kind of genres. But I know people who have had luck with lo-fi there. I know people who have luck with other things there. I've also had very good luck with patriotic songs and holiday songs. Of the songs that have been rejected by Motion Ray, and there's probably been out of a hundred or more, there's been a dozen or so rejected. I can't really find a genre that seems to be rejected. It's just a case-by-case -case basis, and it, all the songs that have been rejected have been in completely different genres. It might have something to do with recording quality, so that might be the first thing that I could point to as to what gets rejected by Motion Array. Now, let's talk about your competition on Motion Array. It's really high, and this is where one of my only criticisms of Motion Array comes in. They have recently introduced a new set of artists to their catalog called Motion Array Originals. And I can only assume that these are made by Motion Array themselves. They have songs in about every category and are high in the staff picks of each genre. The quality is very good, but it still feels a little self-serving that a library is competing with its own authors, and especially that it promotes these songs on their staff pick pages. I wouldn't have a problem if they just put them in there, but you will see these Motion Array original songs high up in the staff pick section, and the staff pick section is the first thing you see when you come into the audio pages. Besides that one issue, I am very happy and blessed to be on Motion Array and very excited to continue providing them with great music. It's a tremendous library that I know personally other composers and artists that are so excited and blessed to be on this library. Like I said before, it's also a great library for other things besides music like After Effects templates and stock video and stock photos, among lots of other things. But this review is only as a music contributor to Motion Array. If you are a composer, artist, or producer, and you're looking to make music income from your music, I highly suggest you click over to motionarray.com and consider being a contributor to this great library. You'll find the link below in the description. I've also included my page at Motion Array that you can see also in the description below. Okay, as I promised, we're a little later in the video, a little later in the day, and 
I do have a few things that I want to add to this video because I sent Motion Array some questions and I didn't think they would get them back in time for this video, but they did, so I want to include them. Here are the questions I asked Motion Array. What are some of the biggest mistakes new creators make when applying to Motion Array? And they told me not providing enough examples of their work, not supplying portfolios, meaning maybe your portfolio over, over at another library like Audio Jungle or Pond5, or even checking if the links work, trying to write in a hundred different genres instead of just one. And what they mean by this is sending a polka song and a metal song and a ballad and a piano song and something else. So what they see a lot is just a lot of different mishmash of stuff. Present yourself as an artist in maybe one style or a general style of things. I asked them about content ID because this is one of the questions that I have and I have had for a long time about Motion Array and about Content ID and do you get filtered out? And they said they don't have stats for Content ID and who might get filtered by clients, but that they always advocate that you use Content ID for your songs. I asked them the same thing about PROs and they said they don't have stats for PROs, but they do strongly advocate for it. Content ID, they say, can actually be an inconvenience for people, but PROs don't really inconvenience people. They just could not submit a cue sheet, which means they could not submit it to television with a cue sheet if they didn't have the PRO information. I also have talked about in this video about how that Motion Race seems to really like vocal music. And I asked them, I noticed that unlike other companies, Motion Array tends to accept and even push vocal music. Is that music popular with your clients? And they said, we love to have as many kinds of unique music as possible. And we do see that vocal tracks can be popular for our users. So again, don't forget to submit your vocal music. And then about the thing that I had a little bit of problem with, I said, one thing I have seen lately that I have concerns about is Motion Array Originals, which could feel like competition from within your library with your creators, especially when that music is highly rated on your staff picks section, which seems to appear first. Is this music made by Motion Array directly? And they said, behind the original music are professional artists from around the globe who are paid well for their work. Adding original music to the Motion Array catalog helps us expand it significantly and offer our users more to choose from, better supporting their creative needs. We welcome new artists to the catalog all the time and are always on the lookout for new talents. The staff picks in the Motion Array marketplace are based on our users' requests and popular trends to help each creator find what they need. They're hedging their bets. They're making sure that they have quality productions. And this goes back to what I said about make sure that you are presenting quality music to Motion Array. Because if you don't, they will just go out and make their own quality music and make sure it's in their library. So it's very important that we write quality songs and put quality production into this library. Make sure you check out this video about holiday music. And speaking of Motion Array, I have lots of holiday music and have been paid for holiday music. So watch this video right here. It'll talk about all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.